Today we are tackling two powerful texture placement functions in Excel, Replace and Substitute. Let's break down when to use each one, how they work and a few pro tips along the way. Replace is your go-to function when you want to swap up part of the text based on its position. Think of it like cutting and pasting over specific characters. Let's change how to learn Excel to how to master Excel. Here is how it works. The replace function takes four arguments. Old text, the original text you want to modify, start position, where the replacement should begin, number of characters, how many characters you want to replace, new text, what you want to put in place of the old text. It starts at position 8, replaces 5 characters, the word learn, and inserts master. Now let's talk about substitute. This one is perfect when you need to find a word and swap it out wherever it shows up, no matter where it is in the text. Let's change Excel to Power Query. Substitute also takes four arguments. Text, the original text, old text, the word or phrase you want to replace, new text, what you want to replace it with and the optional argument instance, if you only want to replace a specific occurrence of the word. As you see, it finds Excel and swaps it with Power Query. With Substitute, you can replace just the first, the second or the third occurrence of a word, leaving the others intact. The common issues with Excel's replace and substitute functions include using the wrong starting position or incorrect character length in replace, which can lead to partial or misplaced replacements. In substitute, problems like case sensitivity, extra spaces or specifying the wrong occurrence of a word may cause the function to not work as expected. To wrap up, Use replace when you need to replace based on position and length. Use substitute to swap specific words or phrases. And don't forget, the arguments in the both functions can be dynamic, using len functions or some other ones.